Hello YouTubers, um, this is another video uh, from Stone Oryx. Um, it is uh, an installation of an MPP Solar uh, PF1 high frequency inverter. Uh, what we have here is a 5 kilowatts or 5 kVA inverter. And um, for the first time we're actually installing the lithium ion. This is a Tesla S model, S444 uh, if I'm correct. Uh, model of um, Tesla batteries. Uh, it's about 5.3 kilo kilowatt hour each for these batteries. So um, in total, we have about 10.6 because it's running on a 48 volt system. Basically, we have two strings of 48 volts uh, in parallel together, and everything's terminated on those bus bars. Um, as you can see, what we have in a, this uh, machine is a 5 kilowatt, uh, like I said earlier on, and we've successfully tested two air conditioners, uh, two split air conditioners, I think about one, one horsepower each, um, yeah, and it ran successfully. Uh, we've also been able to test the uh, batteryless operation uh, in the afternoon when the system came up for the first time. It ran on the battery, but it was quite cloudy, uh, so the system uh, went off. But I guess tomorrow will be another day we'll be able to carry out good test on this. But I, I must say it performed uh, beautifully well. Um, yes, the system here has a combiner box. It's a long string inverter. It takes about, uh, I think, a maximum of 500 volts DC for uh, the string. Of this inverter but nominally works it perfectly like 450 so we have 10 panels upstairs uh, 10 uh, monocrystalline flame panels and uh, the voltage is about it's running to about 430 and when it's peak so we're going to do that test tomorrow and uh, what we're using here is an SPD uh, this is an SPD 600 which actually high capacity for longer string and the uh, what we're using on the AC side is the um, this is the SPD 300 AC. Um, so be basically, we incorporated a couple of things into the system. Um, that's a small power meter to actually help um, check the voltage outputs, the coin drawn by the system, and where to the power consumed and the energy uh, used in the system. Uh, basically you have this factors here but uh, these features here but the the reason why we normally put that is we don't want a situation whereby uh, you don't have to poke at your inverter before you get the values you know I mean just at a mere glance you can get what you, you can get what you're looking for except if you want to dig deep into the system haven't said that um, back to our Tesla batteries uh, these batteries have been powered on and um, they came in from the US um, they're salvaged uh, from one of the company's uh, resellers. Uh, they're salvaged and most of them came in voltages around 22 volts and um, uh, we've turned on the system, charged, and they're fully charged. I think within four hours the system is fully charged. Uh, the cut-up voltages have been set to 49.9. That's, um, that's a high cut-up voltage. It's been set to 49.9 volts and then we the low cutter voltages were set to 42 volts because from a Tesla specification uh, the high cutter voltage is 51 volts per module and for the low cutter voltage is 19.8 per module so we're still operating in between that range that safe range of uh, between 19.8 and uh, 51 volts so this system at this point in time there's no battery monitoring system there's no bms uh but um plans are in the pipeline to actually get uh bms's installed on the system and all the sit on the four batteries to actually uh keep it in tune yeah um aside that um we're just testing the system and seeing what the system can do and how it's performing but, but i must say the in last couple of hours that the system has been uh installed it's uh, working beautifully well, I must say. It's working beautifully well. And, uh, 
One thing I like about the system, about the inverter system, is the fact that uh, you have a long string. You can take a long string for about 500 volts, and that's uh, and and the uh, one of the, one of the thing, it's integrated. The um, the charge controller is actually integrated in the system, so it's not a separate one. So um, yeah, that that's 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 one good thing about it. It's a hybrid. That's one good thing about it. Um, and so far, the uh, the cables are running very cool. Yeah, they're running cool. Uh, I don't have my meat um, gone here right now, but they're running cool. I must say. Um, however, one other thing that I really I don't know, I'm not really too comfortable with is the fact that um, the he, the point at which the cable is going to be plugged into system, the system, the, uh, yes, it's 35 mm, 35 mm squared. That's that's what you have here. I mean, unlike other systems where you can go as far as um, uh, a three slash zero or a four slash zero um, here, which is four slash zero is about 120 mm squared, and the three slash zero is a 95 mm squared but i mean so far with the load uh because that's the specification of the manual it's also specified that you should use 35 mm squared uh, it's uh it's doing great i must say it's doing great yeah and this this system packs one hell of energy um in fact uh, with the lithium ion batteries and um i think this is the way to go um if properly maintained and properly managed uh these batteries are going to last uh a while they're gonna last a while that's a whole idea uh, so we intend to keep on monitoring the system and, and you know maybe doing more videos uh, to see the performance of the system as they go by but uh, we've just installed it and uh, we're having a look at it it's fully charged right now under four hours and the system is doing great uh, thank you do have a pleasant evening thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.